So traveling in an RV and enjoying the RV experience can be really exhilarating and fun. But there's a couple things you need to watch and maintain and do to keep this thing a fun adventure and not a nightmare out on the road. So we're going to go over those right now. So first item is overloading your RV or travel trailer. So there's a couple things about this. One, if you overload it, you have a good chance of blowing out your bearings or your axles. You also have a good chance of blowing out your tires because your tires have to be rated for the load that it's carrying. So those are two things that can blow out. And another thing is when you're overloading your travel trailer, you could get a ton of sway in your truck. So say you load a bunch of stuff in the front and a bunch of stuff in the back and you think, oh, okay, it's all distributed evenly. No, that's the worst thing you can do. Because when you load in the front and you load in the back and your axle's in the middle, it just creates this pendulum of swinging back and forth. Think of it taking a dumbbell and swinging it back and forth. It wants to really swing. And that's what you're doing when you're loading in the front and you're loading up in the back. Try your best to load everything in the middle. And you can put some things in the front, don't get me wrong, but try your best to keep things in the middle of the RV so you won't get this uh, side sway. So number two thing you need to do is do your regular maintenance. So what I mean by that is check your tires, make sure that you're parking your tires on a board or something solid and not on gravel because if you're parking your tires on gravel for a long, long period of time, it starts to actually indent into your tire rubber. So it starts really destroying your tires. So make sure those tires are parked on a flat surface. Another thing is you know check the tires make sure there's no cracking and dry rotting because once you get dry rotting and you know how travel trailers are you're done those tires are going to blow out on you you're going to be in the middle of nowhere and you're going to need a tire and you have to change on the road so just make sure you uh, check those tires real good also make sure that your wheel bearings are greased up really good and i always tell people this that you know you can get bearing buddies that kind of self grease a little bit but they don't do a lot of grease but they do a little bit of greasing that's a good idea but also you can do the greasing on your own and what you do is you you jack the tire up off the ground and you spin the tire around and you start pumping the grease in there and the reason why you spin the tire is there's a back seal behind the tire and if you don't spin the tire to keep the grease kind of motion going the grease is going to put a ton of pressure on that seal and blow it out. And it's going to put all the grease inside your uh, brakes and it's going to destroy your brakes. It's a bad deal. So make sure you spin that tire and just slowly pump up the grease to re-grease your bearings. That's a great tip. Number three is make sure you follow the campground rules. And, you know, they have pretty easy rules. They're, they're not hard to follow, but just make sure you follow them because... It's their campground, and if you don't follow them, they have the right to kick you out. So just keep an eye on those rules, and like I said, most of those rules are pretty easy to follow, and just keep an eye on it. And BLM lands. Also, not all BLM land you're allowed to drain your gray tank. And the ones that you are allowed to drain your gray tank, most of the time you have to hook a garden hose up to your gray tank to drain it out. And what you do is you get a, uh, a cover that goes over your outside of your gray tank where it drains. And then it has a hose attachment. So you get one of those, then you can drain your gray tank on the ground for the BLM lands. And in my opinion, you know, environmentally, I think it's better. It's better for the environment to drain those gray tanks on the ground. Because a lot of these areas like Arizona and other areas, they don't have a lot of water to begin with. And you're actually adding water to the resources around there by pouring it on the ground. And you're pouring gray tank water on the ground, which, you know, is shower water. And the way these soaps are nowadays, they aren't, you know, harsh on the environment like they were back in the 80s and the 90s. And, you know, how we did it in the 80s and 90s, everybody, you know, they drained their car engine oil in the ditch. Um, we did some horrible stuff back then. But, you know, we're still alive, thank God. And the stuff is so much better for the environment now. So when you're draining a gray tank on the ground, you're actually helping the environment because you're adding water back into, you know, the ground source. So 
So in areas like Arizona, great, great area to do that in. But again, you got to watch the rules for that BLM area because not all BLMs will allow you to do that. And this rule I cannot stress enough. Don't leave your awnings out. And what I mean by that is people go out and they leave their awning out and then they go out, you know, to do their adventure for the day. They come back. There was a windstorm and it ripped the awning off and it tore all the stuff up. They have to make it so it's patchable to make it home. It just makes a bad experience. So don't leave your awning out. Here's a little gray area also is you can leave your awning out, you know, in my opinion, a little bit. You know, so you can keep the front of the door dry. There is a little bit of a gray area there. And I've had it out, you know, about this far. And I've been through, you know, good storms. And it's been just fine for me. So you can leave it out a little bit. But that's on your own discretion. So another tip is to make sure everything is secured. So when you're going out RVing, even when you're at home, you know, this is a good target for people to come get something out of because it's a, you know, it's a house on wheels with all the stuff in here and, you know, everything is like 20 bucks to 100 bucks to even a couple hundred bucks. So there's stuff that has value in here. So just make sure you secure this stuff. And I'm going to say this too is some people leave these things unsecured at home. They just leave the door open. I was a, you know, a person to do this also. And your neighborhood kids they're going to use it as a playground, you know, a clubhouse. So, and I can't blame them because, you know, when you're a little kid, you see something that's, you know, parked out, nobody's around it. And it has electric, it has, you know, seating and a little bunkhouse. It has all this cool stuff. Yeah, this sounds like a really cool clubhouse. And like I said, I can't blame the kids for it. You know, a lot of people could, but I can't blame them. So just make sure you lock your door that way. If you don't want the kids playing in your clubhouse, then lock the door. That way they're not in there playing around. And like I said, I wouldn't yell at them. I would say, oh, my fault. I'm the one that left it unlocked. I'm the dummy. I, it's all my fault. So don't yell at kids when they go climbing in your clubhouse travel trailer because you left the door unlocked. You know, kids are kids. So here's one that a lot of people forget. And that is to make sure that your RV is level on the campsite. And there's a lot of factors for this. For one, if it's not level, your air conditioner may not drain properly. You'll get water condensing inside the roof panels. And, you know, there's a chance for bad stuff to happen. And another thing is, if you have a refrigerator, they may not work properly. Because they have to be level to have all the stuff working properly in the refrigerator. So... Those are things that you really need to watch out when you're leveling your RV because if you don't level it properly, you could have some problems in the long run. And my last thing is, and it kind of goes back into security, make sure you put a lock on your hitch. So your travel trailer has an area where you can put it on the ball. Make sure you put a lock in there because you don't want your travel trailer running away from somebody when you're on your trip. So make sure you put a lock on it. And that's pretty much it. You know, there's some other things too, and we'll discuss in later videos, but that's a good core, you know, amount of things to make sure you do to enjoy RV traveling. And it just makes it so you're still going to be relaxed when you're on the trips. So that's it for this episode. And if you like what we're doing, please subscribe and we'll see you next episode.